My name is Matt Buck, I work for the Environment Agency. I'm based at Trentside Nottingham as a fisheries technical officer. I'm here to sort of improve river habitat, improve fish populations and also improve access for anglers and making it generally a better environment for the fish and the anglers to be in. When we need to restock it's usually following either a pollution incident um, where something's gone wrong and there's been a subsequent fish loss so then we will go and respond to that and as a long term project we'll restock and also help improve any habitat loss that might have subsequently happened. I've always from being four years old I've sort of kept fish and from before I can even remember my father took me fishing so it was quite a logical career choice really. When I was at school um, pretty much like any other sort of boy I really love playing football and cricket and all sorts of sports and things like that um, but found sometimes sitting there listening about certain things not so interesting shall we say. I wasn't always the most academic person I was always more of a hands-on getting stuck in sort of person so then coming to doing the A-levels and needing to really stick your head in the book for long periods wasn't necessarily for me. I went to a college in Hampshire called, which is a place called Sparshot College. I did a degree in fisheries management and aquaculture which was a three-year course. When I first went to college it was the first time I probably lived away from home and I went from the northeast of England to Southampton, 300 miles away from home. You couldn't just ring your mother up and say, Mam, can you do me washing or anything like that? You had to do it yourself. And to this day, it was the making of me because it gave me that, made, let me stand up on my two feet and look after myself, basically. From every opportunity given where I wasn't actually at college or school, I would then like try and increase my sort of CV as it were, I'll try and look to work on fish farms or whatever. I'd help fish, uh, Disabled Fishing Club, which my uncle was part of, so I'd be helping um, helping that out just for not very much money, but again, just getting the experience. My father being a, a big influence on me from um, taking me at fishing from a young age and keeping fish, um, that was, was a massive influence because that sort of gave me a focus in life from a very young age and that is subsequently what I'm still focused in now. I think my father's probably quite envious that I enjoy my job so much um, as I'm not, I'm not so sure he quite enjoyed his job so much before he retired. My dad wanted to do marine biology and his dad said no, be an accountant because that's where the money is and my dad regrets it to, to this day that he's never done marine biology. I think he's a little bit envious but he just said to follow your dreams basically. With my own children I like to pass on the knowledge and see them sort of fulfilling a similar sort of career and certainly enjoy the passion of angling like I do. There's other things outside of fish as well, you know, keen football fan and um, also like socialising like any other young lad and you know, it's, yeah, at the end of the day you, you hear once you might as well enjoy what you're doing and I enjoy everything that I do, work and out of work, so I think it's a perfect balance. I still see myself working within fisheries and within the agency. Um, maybe looking for a, a promotion of some description by then. Um, where, where, the, where that will take me, I don't know. But certainly I would like to see myself work, starting to work up the ladder within the agency. I would say I am very lucky because I'm doing a job I really wanted to do and I really enjoy my job. And there's very few people who say that, so I've done what I wanted to do, basically.